Yes, guys, welcome back to the channel. It is match day one. It is game one of the National League season. I can't wait. Always wake up with those little butterflies. So excited for the season to start. York City at home, tough game. I'm looking at all the games. They're all tough. I'm trying to look at where we can get three or four wins in a row and anyone can beat anyone in this league. So it is definitely, definitely going to be a tough game. A little bit different for me. Normally used to start in, um, in the first game of the season. I will be on the bench today, so... Um, listen, I've got to try and treat it as um, coming on and making an impact. Be around the dressing room, get all the boys up for it, um, but obviously won't be starting the game. And then hopefully get my chance and um, do a good job when I come on. So come along with me and let's see how it goes. So it was quite an even start to the game. Both teams looking to get on the ball and play. York City looked very dangerous on the break with their new signing, Akin Yemi. And Akin Yemi eventually got his debut goal. Uh, York, in fairness, to preserve this. They were piling on in the first half. A bit fortuitous how they got it, but in the end, they deserve the lead. The rain came hammering down first half, I was warming up, so I quickly took shelter. York came flying out the trap second half when I come on, so we just had to ride the storm a bit, but Munn does brilliantly here to get to the byline and just stand it up. And my header hits the defender's hand above his head, so it was a clear penalty in my eyes. So all set piece takers are decided before the match. Tab was on penalties, but obviously I wasn't starting, so I'm normally on pens, so I took the ball, so thanks Tab for letting me do that. So from this moment on, we really dominated the game. Um, one of us in our ass got sent off, which helped that too. We started getting our wing backs out a bit more here with Clays and nice little reverse pass from myself. And Munns absolutely spanked into the net and gives us a little dance as well, which I didn't see at the time. So from this point onwards, we saw the game out with relative ease. Um, fans are amazing as usual at home. And yeah, the three points in the bag. And of course, it's not a Willstone win without the kit man getting absolutely soaked well done, Brett. Something I am trying to do this season is to be on the pitch more and therefore not get any injuries. So recovery is becoming way more important. A little protein shake and a six minute ice bar after the game with some post-match tunes. So there we guys, a win on game week one, a goal and assist, so very happy with that. But yeah, on to Eastleigh next week. Like, comment and subscribe please, even if you're a Wilstone fan, a National League fan or just a football fan. I'm hoping to get some more behind the scenes stuff as I said. And yeah, I think it'll be good content for all football fans out there. See you on the next one.